Sound needs a medium. Can you hear sound at all places? Yes, it's easy, right? How about in space? Do you think astronauts can talk to each other normally in space like they do on Earth? Let's understand this through an experiment. Place a mobile phone in a tumbler and call that mobile from another one. What do you observe? You can hear the sound of the phone ringing. Now close the tumbler with a lid and make space for a straw. Start sucking the air from the tumbler through that straw. At the same time, keep calling the phone inside the tumbler. What do you observe? The amount of sound that you can hear gradually decreases. So if we keep reducing the air inside, the sound decreases. Before closing the lid, there was air inside the tumbler. And so you could hear the ring. Once we closed the tumbler and kept reducing the air from it, the sound became fainter. What if we suck out all the air? You will be surprised to know that if we suck out all the air from the tumbler, then we won't be able to hear any sound from the phone. You don't believe it? Let's see an experiment to make it clear. Take an electric bell and an airtight glass bell jar. The electric bell is suspended inside the airtight bell jar. The bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump. If we press the switch of the electric bell, what do you think happens? Yes, we are able to hear the sound of the bell. Now start the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump removes the air from the jar. When the air in the jar is pumped out gradually, the sound becomes fainter, although the same current is passing through the bell. After some time, when less air is left inside the bell jar, you will hear a very feeble sound. What will happen if the air is removed completely? Let's check. We cannot hear any sound now. That means, if there is no air left inside the jar, we cannot hear any sound, right? By this, we can conclude that sound needs some medium to travel. Now let's find out if astronauts can talk normally in space like they do on Earth. We all know that there is no matter in space. This absence of matter is called vacuum. As there is no matter, there is no medium for sound to travel. And that's why we cannot hear any sound in space unless special devices are used to talk. That's why astronauts need special types of equipment to talk to each other in space. Now that we know that sound needs a medium to travel, let's find out what those mediums could be. Did you know that walls have ears? They really do. Don't believe me? How about we try something to prove it? Put your ear to the wall and try to hear the sounds in the other room, sneakily. Could you hear anything? You could, right? See, I told you walls have ears. Now you know that sound travels from medium and here the wall is the medium. Let's take another example. Ask your friend to tap on one end of the table and keep your ear on the other end. Could you hear it? Yes, you can clearly hear it. So what kind of mediums are the wall and table? They are solid mediums. So by this, we can conclude that sound can travel through solids. This is one of the mediums. Let's take another example. Ring a bell inside water. Can you hear the sound? You can, right? Can you tell me what is the medium of travel here? It's water. Water is a liquid medium. Now we can say that sound can travel through liquids. Did you know that whales can communicate to each other by sending sound waves through water? Yes. This is another example that proves that sound can travel through liquids. 
What about the other medium, which is gaseous medium? Can sound travel through gases? Well, you are able to hear me now, right? What is the medium here? It's air. So can sound travel through air? Of course it can. It is the most commonly used medium to hear sound. Air is a gaseous medium. By this, we can conclude that sound travels through the gaseous medium too. Now let's quickly recap all that we have learned today. Sound cannot travel through vacuum. Sound needs a medium to travel. Sound can travel through solids, liquids and gases. Using this knowledge, we can make some really interesting things like a toy phone. Take two cups and attach them with a string. Hold one end to your ear and ask your friend to talk from the other end like this. You can clearly hear what your friend is saying. How could that happen? Think about it. It's really simple. That's all for now. I'll see you all next time with some more interesting facts about sound. Till then, keep learning.